Hi, I'm Flora Pizzolato with Hairdresser's Advice. I'm uh, sitting here with Tashi Carr, and we've um, actually serviced her salon with our scissor company, Tokyo. And I got to talking to Tashi, and I just thought, man, this is such a neat woman. From what it sounded like, you've been in the hair industry for many years now, and I love all the information and all the stuff that we talked about. And when I connected with you, what I really was impressed with was that you're an educator. Can um, you tell me what type of products that you've uh, taught for in the past with? Uh, yes, I've worked with one of the uh, top companies leading in the uh, hair oil products. Wow. Um, it's a global company. I was an educator there for two years. Mm -hmm. I traveled to, to Canada and to uh, most of the states in the United States. Oh, that's amazing. That's so cool that you did that. Now, how long have you, did you just educate for two years or how long more or less were you an educator? Yeah, I educated for two years. Mm -hmm. I also uh, did platform work in New York at the IBS show. Wow. Um, uh, yeah. Two years ago. So oh, that's that very great. Exciting. That is great. And um, gosh, I, now I can ask you a whole bunch of questions about that, but I've got to stay on target of what we're talking about. Um, as an educator, um, what was it that you felt you wanted to offer the hairdressers to help them in, with, in, you know, as a hairdresser? Well, one of the main problems that uh, hairdressers face is the hair loss epidemic. There's over 40 million Americans who suffer from hair loss. Wow. And, and a lot of them are women. Mm -hmm. And so hairdressers are challenged with how to address and help the client mm -hmm. to promote hair growth mm -hmm. and solve their problems with their hair shedding. Wow, wow. So you kind of felt like that was something you kind of um, felt in your heart you wanted to kind of help stylists when you would educate besides your educating with this um, hair care line and so forth. So see, that's what's so neat about us hairdressers. There's so many facets, don't you agree, Tashi, yes. in our industry that when we're doing hair and we're working with co-workers, we can really influence and help them. And not that we want to tell them how to do things. It's when you're in the industry for a long time, you have knowledge that um, you want to pass to other people because when you see them struggling, just like what you said you saw with the hair loss situation, you went ahead and it was put in your heart and you wanted to help other people. And it's so great that, that you were really intuitive to that. Um, what are some of the reasons that um, would make you want to work for a company like the companies you did in the past? What, what were some of the reasons that you felt really drew your attention to wanting to help that company? you know, with their, you know, teaching and so forth. Right. Well, one of my main concerns is the product ingredients. Um, I'm really drawn to companies who use products that are more natural, um, vegan even, mm -hmm. so that I don't have to worry about the clients becoming allergic to mm -hmm. different things. People these days have such high sensitivities they do. to, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, manufactured Mm -hmm. uh, natural types of products. Yeah, I, we. I have two kids, and one of our daughters basically is has so many reactions to all kinds of products. It's really hard for her to find find that. So that's a really really neat thing that you're interested in in that and with the industry because there is a lot of products that are coming out that are more aware of just you know getting away from the chemicals. So it's really really good thing. Do you see the companies that you work for support the hairdresser, or do they tend to kind of want to just keep promoting their own product? Oh, that's one thing. I wish more hair product companies were more involved with helping the hairdresser, mm -hmm. educating them, because what I'm finding is in the cosmetology school and through education that way, a lot of our newer cosmetologists don't have enough information. Mm -hmm. They're just coming out with the basics. Mm -hmm. And so they're relying on people like myself that are experienced or other product companies to help them. Mm -hmm. And so there's definitely a need for mm -hmm. more education on how to use chemicals, uh, how to uh, test product on a client before servicing them, mm -hmm. how important that is 
so that we could prevent uh, creating a negative name for ourselves mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. creating more problems for the consumer. Yeah. It's so neat to, to hear and see you and say that you're expressing uh, Tashi. She has um, so much passion for our industry and that's what we want to create on this site. Hairdresser's advice is the passion that us few stylists have that we can pass it, pass it on and ignite it within our industry and really help each other. Tashi, now you have a salon, yes. right? You have a, a cute little shop here and you've got a, one or two people that work here and you're very exclusive and small and I like that because you specialize in, and I see that you're doing really well and I just, I really appreciate you interviewing. Just, do you want to say anything else to our audience or anything? Yeah. Well, my salon is located in uh, 560 North Diamond Bar Boulevard in the city of Diamond Bar in California. And I work with a wonderful, I'm partnered with a wonderful stylist. Her name is Lisa Kramer. And we specialize in helping people do change and custom design a new look for you. We do uh, custom wigs. I'm a certified trichologist, which is a specialist in hair loss. And Lisa supports that by creating beautiful color and cuts for any uh, custom prosthesis that we use or wigs or hair extensions. So look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Well thank, well, thank you. I really appreciate you taking a few moments with me and just thank talking you. about the industry from your experience. And um, uh, we'll be seeing you soon again in another interview that we do in the future. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome.